Welcome to Meet Planet, thank you for landing. Alexander King, a 17-year-old 11th grader at Tarpon Springs High School, was identified as a boy who was shot and killed by officers Saturday night. Police received several calls Saturday evening, about a white male walking down Pinellas Avenue U. S. 19 alternate, and pointing what appeared to be an AK-style rifle at passing vehicles. Officers arriving at the southeast corner of the intersection said, King pointed the gun at them, and at several occupied cars on the road. Two responding officers fired 12 rounds, 7 from a patrol rifle and 5 from an agency handgun. King was hit and fell to the ground, officers then handcuffed King as a precaution, and began CPR until paramedics arrived. King actually was carrying an airsoft gun, which is also known as a pellet gun. King was transported to Bayonet Point Hospital, but was pronounced dead at 11.05 PM. King has had 22 previous interactions with law enforcement, 11 with Tarpon Springs Police, and 11 with other Pinellas County law enforcement agencies. Two of those were felony arrests for, battery on a school board employee in 2017, and aggravated battery with a deadly weapon in 2018. The Pinellas County School District released a statement Monday, saying it was saddened by the passing of one of its students, and offering the district's thoughts and prayers to the Tarpon Springs High School students' family and friends. Thoughts and prayers, are with the King family members, as well as the officers involved in the shooting. Tarpon Springs police just revealed a teenager was the person pointing what they thought was a military-style rifle at people on Alternate 19 and Tarpon Avenue. The department released this photo of 17-year-old Alex King. You can see him pointing that gun towards vehicles there. We're showing you this photo to provide context of what was happening in the moments before officers arrived and before gunfire started. Officers say he then turned and pointed his gun at them. Two Tarpon Springs police officers opened fire, taking him down. Investigators say once they got close to him, they discovered that gun was actually an airsoft gun which shoots plastic BBs. The suspect later died at the hospital. The more trauma we experience during our lives, the survival brain grows brighter, reacting impulsively for self-preservation. Executive problem-solving skills are dimmed, in the interest of immediate safety, and to reach homeostasis. Children and teens, of Gen Z, have access to much more information than in any previous generation. This has caused them to prematurely have to deal with mature situations, an adult, would have trouble handling. Please like, and subscribe. We are the Meek.